is he says, focus on what the other person wants. And if it matches you, then it's a winner. Otherwise you may become someone's slave or dependent. Eh, not likely, not likely. I mean, if, if you don't have any boundaries, you might become someone's slave and dependent. But if you do have boundaries and you know what somebody wants and you give it to them, and if they become a taker and they're not giving, see, right? Like you're assuming that you're giving everything and you're not getting anything back in return. And if you're in that kind of a situation, then you should be concerned about that. And number two, you shouldn't be in that kind of situation. Instead, the situation that you should be in is a situation where you're building together and you're growing together and you're both giving each other what it is that you both want. And so you're building and growing a relationship together and you're fulfilling each other's needs. And if you're not doing that, then it could become a problem. And so you just have to be smart and you have to make sure that you're getting yourself into a good situation and you have to make sure that you're getting your needs met as well from him. And if he isn't getting your, you, your needs, you either need to find out why he's not doing that. And, you know, uh, one of the ways that it does work, right. Is, is once you're in a committed relationship and you're giving each other, giving, 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 uh, what usually happens is if you really fulfill a man with all the things that he needs, he'll usually give you whatever it is that you want. However, um, sometimes that doesn't happen. And if it doesn't happen, then you need to decide whether that's actually a relationship that you want to be in. And if he isn't taking care of your needs and giving you what it is that you want, then my suggestion is that you get out of that situation completely. But yeah, I mean, you, it, it doesn't necessarily have to match you, right? It doesn't necessarily have to match you. It can match you, which those are usually the best scenarios, right? If, if you're, let's, you know, let's say that you are a physical touch kind of person, you just love physical touch and you meet a guy who's physical touch. That's a great scenario because you guys are like laying around together and hugging each other and rolling around and, you know, smacking each other on the butt and stuff. And, you know, laying outside, looking up at the stars and giving each other massages and kissing each other all over the body. And you just love it. Right. And that's, that's usually a really, really great scenario. However, it can work in other scenarios too, right? Like, let's say that your top one is words of affirmation and his top one is physical touch. You start giving him massages and kissing him all over and laying with him. And he starts telling you how amazing and beautiful and awesome you are and how he's so lucky to have you in his life and how he can't wait to see you again. And, and, and how you're, you know, just the most amazing woman that he's ever met and how he'd move mountains to be with you and, and, and how he doesn't ever want to leave you and all that kind of stuff. Right. And all of a sudden you guys have a great match and you guys are just like, yeah, this is awesome together. Right. And it doesn't have to be that you guys are doing the exact same thing. So I hope that, I hope that answers, that wasn't even a question. It was just a tangent, a tangent that I was running off on.